Okay, hello, everyone, this is uh, the brainiest one, and uh, this is Terrence with Kenneth's birthday, 11-16, he would be 73 today, I, um, I don't think I would have done this uh, video if it wasn't for Terrence, and I say that because, um, it's a lot of knowledge it's a lot of knowledge and you know you just can't really just be sharing and giving it out to anybody because then um it's like i don't know kind of feels disrespectful if um you can understand and i say that because um because i had to go through you know certain things in order to get this knowledge and acquire it, acquire the wisdom. And so I went in um, with my brother on um, 20 grams psilocybin. And uh, the first time I went to go in um, 15 grams and um, I threw up because I had um, consumed cooked food and broke the the fast. I was no longer on an empty stomach, and so I threw up. And my brother just went in fifteen, and I did not. It's my dog. He's going crazy right now. He wants to leave. Man, look at this guy. Anyway, so I consume the twenty on the next um, on the next you know ritual. And um, what I notice is that the mental confusion is anything below the 10 grams because um, you get get kind of stuck in, in, you know, these consciousness loops. And, you know, you have like this gate right here, you know, the veil, and you're stuck underneath it, then you're just going to be like, you know, looping around, but once when you pass the gate, pass the veil, then you're like, whoa, there's a whole world up here, you know, you start seeing all these things, and so a lot of people, they're, they're not doing, doing this exploration right, I mean, I can't say that necessarily, because there's no really right to wrong, because you're learning, everyone's learning, but the thing is, is that we want to keep building up, um, just like Kalindi said, um, going past, going past the veil, you know, in, into the, um, the threshold, but I went in with my brother and, um, it's almost, it's almost too beyond to put in words and it's only 20 grams. That's the thing. And the thing, I feel like that we can't really put these experiences in words because it's almost, like, um, offensive, you know, because it's, like, you know, the words are nowhere near to what we're seeing, you know, and feeling. So, it's, like, <sighs> but it showed me that fungi take over everything, whether you like it or not. You know, fungi is going to be here before you. It's here when you're here, and it's here after you. So praise the fungi. And it showed me you can't really be clean even if you tried to be clean. You know, there's life everywhere. You know, there's life everywhere, man. And um, it cleansed me. You know, it made my, my skin more clear. It pushed all the oil and the negativity out. And it just, it was beautiful. And I think that everybody needs to experience this for themselves. Because I was one to be feared about this too. I was one to be confused. And, you know, I'm over here now doing this. And... You know, then when the next person experiences this for themselves, then they're like, oh my God, like everyone needs to experience this, you know, and it keeps going. So it's the way to go eating mushrooms.
<coughs> Excuse me. Ah. It's the way to go. Eating mushrooms. So we should eat mushrooms. More and more and more mushrooms. <laughs>